The Port of Los Angeles welcomed U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Lisa P. Jackson as part of her visit to Los Angeles to celebrate Earth Day and to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the EPA's Clean Water Act. Earth Day is really important to the EPA because without Earth Day there wouldn't be an Environmental Protection Agency. You know, 41 years ago when people rose up and walked to Washington or got to Washington on buses and cars or flew or in their own communities in their state capitals and their cities, they demanded one thing for them from their government. They demanded that government help them get the air clean, keep the water clean, keep their land clean. So there'd be no EPA if it wasn't for Earth Day. And it's wonderful to be here on a teaching boat watching these fifth graders learn about water. It's the cycle that's going to continue because it's all about making sure they know that this is their water. During her visit to the port, she observed fifth grade students aboard a floating environmental science lab, a boat tour program facilitated by the Think Watershed Partnership and sponsored by the port. We just saw a display that in the 40 years of the Clean Water Act, this port has gone from being lifeless to being the home for all kinds of sea life and, of course, a place for a living classroom like this. Kids are learning. They've, I met Steve downstairs. He's been doing this for 40 years, uh, bringing kids out into the inner harbor, teaching them about their water, their future, and it's exciting. What's that moving? That's the copepod shrimp. He looks just about like the shrimp that we caught in the net. Now all those dark thick grains are just sand or mud that's been in, in the water. There's another diatom What's right there. Point? These kids are here today saying how important water is to them and their communities. Um, and so the challenges are making sure that we're able to answer the needs and the demands of the American people and to do it in a way that cost as little as possible and to grow our economy in a green way like we see here at the port. Students were eager to participate in the floating lab. Through the style of first-hand education, students are able to see how human behavior affects the quality of water, air, habitat, animal life, plant life, and human life in the marine environment and in their own communities. The Port of Los Angeles, a cleaner port, a brighter future.